Gary Zagrin is among the first in St. Louis to receive the first generation COVID-19 vaccinations. I know we've been waiting a while. Gary has a heart condition, diabetes, and an aneurysm, making him high risk for severe illness, even death, from COVID-19. It's been so long thinking that you could catch the virus and die. Now that the vaccine's out, it's such a relief. Eagerness for the mRNA COVID-19 vaccinations is experienced at locations in the St. Louis area, including Mercy Hospital St. Louis. More vaccines are coming and over time, not all will be the same type. Experts say the next generation of vaccines could be even better. This may include a nasal spray, not an injection. It's delivered in one dose through the nose. That made it superior to the other vaccines that required multiple doses. Researchers in this Washington University School of Medicine lab developed a COVID-19 nasal vaccine that's now produced by academic spinoff company Precision Virologics. Professor Dr. David Curiel is the interim CEO. A human clinical trial for the vaccine is now underway. Precision partnered with a vaccine manufacturer in India, where the trial is taking place. An Indian company named Bakrat Biotech licensed our agent. They manufactured it with our help. They got through regulatory in India, and they started phase one intranasal vaccine trial. So if all goes according to plan, by March, we'll have human data with our vaccine. To develop the vaccine, they used the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, inserting it inside another virus called an adenovirus. The adenovirus is a common cold virus. We used a chimpanzee adenovirus. Major advantage of using a non-human adenovirus that could penetrate preformed immunity. Curiel says the nasal vaccine is proven safe and effective in animal studies. And a bonus, it does not require ultra cold storage. The side effects of adenovirus do appear to be less than with mRNA, which have been soreness, fatigue, fever symptoms. Those symptoms are thought to be linked to the storage agent for the mRNA. It's called polyethylene glycol. And he says the nasal delivery route creates a more widespread immune response than an injection. It would destroy any coronavirus already present and prevent the spread of the virus to others. Not only could it induce protective immunity, but it sterilized the upper respiratory tract, which may be important to limiting person-to-person transmission containing the pandemic. If the clinical trial goes as well as expected in India, Curiel expects a clinical trial in the United States this year. And we're in discussions with two companies who will manufacture the agent. We have clinicians here at both institutions that are wanting to do the phase one trial with our agent. You can find the full story on this next generation vaccine on our website, hecmedia.org.